Okie dokie. I bought these Apple design speakers a few weeks back, but didn't realise that you needed speaker wire to go from the master to the slave, or the left to the right channel, whatever you want to call it. So now I found some, thought I'd give it a go. They're quite chunky, quite heavy. So what I'm going to do, first of all, I'm going to wire them up. So, black into black and black into red and black into red. Okie dokie. Next, audio out from the computer. Standard three and a half mil jack. And then all we need is power. So let's try and uh, put them down. Well, we have a green light. So that's a good start. Let's try and make it quack or something. I can hear platinum noises already. And that speaker is right in the way, isn't it? Let's uh, put it back there. Sweating. <laughs> right, I am getting audio out of both sides, which is really cool. So, I burnt a CD. I don't have any music or anything on here that I can make it make a noise. There's a bit of a crackle coming out of that one speaker. There's a slight crackle coming out of that speaker. Okay, so this won't read my burn CD and I don't want to put any other CDs in because I don't want copyright strike. But I do have another idea.
beige. Right, powered on, powered on. Ooh. What does that look like on camera? Not fantastic, but anyway. Okay, so I have the Apple CD150, the LC475. It's booted into Mac OS. We have audio CD on the desktop. We have Apple CD audio player, audio CD player, whatever it's called. Let's give it a try. So, on the back we have the SCSI cable, we have left and right audio, and then obviously power. But the interesting thing is, the volume control here in Apple CD Audio Player does nothing. And you have to have the left and right audio connected to the speakers for there to be any sound. Because initially I plugged them in and I didn't have the left and right audio cable and I pressed play and there was no audio and I was a bit disappointed. And I thought, well, let me just try. So yeah, this one, uh, this one's a bit farty, so I think that one will need a replacement speaker at some point. Um, but yeah, I'm quite happy with them. They don't sound fantastic, but they are almost 30 years old, or perhaps even they are 30 years old. Um, there's not too much high end and the bass isn't quite as punchy as you'd expect it to be. Um, I mean I have a, I have a Bose speaker system which I can't share at the moment because I'm using all the plugs. But yeah that properly chucks out the bass. And I'm going to tidy up because nice. Thanks for watching.